Good morning, guys. Before starting my day, I'm just wanna, I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna check. I'm very short. Um, of a TED talk, and I chose this、uh, video clip. I'm not gonna play it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check the transcript in English version. Let me read. Be an oppor. Okay, it's a little bit annoying. I need to lock the moving screen. Right. Be an opportunity maker. Editor's note: This talk was recorded at a TED curated event in partnership with IBM. All right. I grew up diagnosed as、uh, phobically shy and、uh, like at least twenty,、uh, like at least twenty another people in a room of this size. I was a starter. I was a starter, right? Do you dare raise your hand? And it sticks with us. It really does stick with us because. When we are treated that way, we feel invisible sometimes, or talked around and and or talked around and at. And as I started to look at people, which is mostly all I did, I noticed that some people really wanted attention, and the recognize and the recognition. Remember, I was young then, so what did they do? What we still do, perhaps, what, what we still do, perhaps too often, we talk about ourselves, and yet there are other people I observed, who had what I called, uh, what is this? What I called、uh, mutuality, mutuality mindset. In each situation, they found a way to talk about us and to create that us idea.、Mm, it's interesting. Okay. So my i so my idea to reimagine the world is to see. So my idea to imagine. So my idea to reimagine the world is to see. To see it, one. To see it, one where we all become greater opportunity makers with and the for others. There's no greater opportunity or call for action for us now, than to become opportunity makers, who use best talent together. Where was I? I lost it. So my idea, so my idea to reimagine the world is to see it one where we all become greater opportunity makers with and the fathers. There's no greater opportunity or call for action for us now than to become opportunity makers. Who use best talents together, more often for the greater good, and accomplish things we couldn't have done on our, on our, on our own. And I want to talk to you about that because even more than giving, even more than giving, even more than giving is the capacity for us to do something smarter together for the greater good. That lifts us both up, and they can scale.、Mm. That's why I'm sitting here, but I also want to point to something else out. Each one of you is better than anybody else at something. That disproves that popular notion. That disproves that popular notion that if you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong. You are in the wrong room. <sighs> so let me tell you about a Hollywood party I went to a couple years back. 
I met this up and coming actress, and、uh, we were soon talking about something that we both felt passionately about: public art. And she had the fervent belief that every new building in Los Angeles should have a public art in it. She wanted a regulation for it, and、uh, she and she fervently started. Who is here from Chicago? She fervently started talking about this, this being shaped reflective skirt. Sculptures in Millennium Park, and the people would walk up, and the people would walk up to it, and they'd smile it, they'd smile, in in the reflection of it, and they'd pose, and they'd vamp, and they'd take selfies together, and they'd laugh, and as she was, and she was talking, a thought came to my mind. I said. I know someone you ought to meet. He's getting out of a San. He's getting out of a San, Quentin in a couple of weeks, and、uh, he shares your fervent desire that art should engage and enable people to connect. He spent five years in solitary, and I met him because I gave a speech at San, Quentin. And he's articulate, and he's rather easy, and he's rather easy on the eyes because he's buff. He had workout regime. He did every day. I think she was following me at that point. I said, "He'd be on. He'd be on an expected LA." And not just that, there's James. He's an architect and he's a professor and he loves place making and the place making is when you have those mini plus, mini plazas, what is this mini, plazas and those urban walkways and where they are. <clears throat> What's that? And where they are dotted with art, where people draw and come up and talk sometimes, I think they do make good allies. My voice like a horse. <clears throat> I forgot the expression. 목이 잠기다라는 영어 표현 있었는데 something related to horse. I don't remember. And indeed, they were. They met together. They prepared. They spoke in front of the Los Angeles City Council, and the council members not only passed the regulation, half of them came down and asked to pose with them afterwards. They were startling, compelling, and incredible. You can't buy that. What I'm asking you to consider is what kind of opportunity makers we might become. Because more than wealthy or fancy titles or a lot of contacts, it's our capacity to connect around each other's better side and bring it out. And I'm not saying this is easy, and I'm sure many of you have made the wrong moves too.、Um, have made the wrong moves too about who you wanted to connect with. But what I want to suggest is this is an opportunity. I started thinking about it. I started thinking about it way back when I was a Wall Street Journal reporter, and I was in Europe, and I was supposed to cover trends and trends that transcended the business or politics or lifestyle. So I had to have contacts in different worlds, very different than mine, because otherwise you couldn't spot the trends. And the third. I had to write the story in a way, stepping into the readers' sh- readers' shoes, so they could see how these trends could affect their lives. That's what opportunity makers do. And here is a strange thing: unlike an increasing number of Americans who are working and living and playing with people who think exactly like them, because. We then, because we then become more rigid and extreme 
opportunity makers are actively seeking situations with people unlike them, and they are building relationships. And because they do that, they have trusted the relationships where they can bring the right team in, and recruit them to solve a problem better and faster, and seize more opportunities. They are not a. F- they are not. Affronted by differences, they're fascinated by them, and that, that is a huge shift in mindset. And once you feel it, you want it to happen a lot more. This world is calling out for us to have a collective mindset, and I believe in doing that. It's especially important now. Why is it important now? Because things can be. Devised like drones and the drugs and the data collection, and they can be devised by more people and the cheaper ways for beneficial purpose, for beneficial purposes. And then, as we know from the news every day, they can be used for dangerous ones. It calls on us, each of us, to a higher calling. But here's the icing on the cake. It's not just the first opportunity that you do with somebody else. That's probably your greatest as an institution or an individual. It's after you've had that experience and you trust each other. It's the unexpected things that you de- that you divide, you devise a writer on you never could have predicted. For example, Marthy. Is the husband of that actress I mentioned, and he watched them when they were practicing, and he was soon talking to Wally, my friend, the ex-con, about that exercise regime, and he thought I have a set of racquetball courts. That guy could that guy could teach it. A lot of people who work there are members of my court. They are frequent travelers. They could practice in their hotel room. No equipment provided. That's how Wally got hired. Not only that, years later he was also teaching racquetball. Years after that, he was teaching the racquetball teachers. What I'm suggesting is, when you connect with people around a shared interest and action, you are accustomed to surrounding p- ser- What is this? You're accustomed to serendipitous, serendipitous things happening into the future, and I think that's what we're looking at. We open our we op we open ourselves up to those opportunities, and in this room are key players in technology, key players who are uniquely positioned to do this, to scale systems and the projects together. So here's what I'm calling for you to do. Remember the three threats of opportunity makers. Opportunity makers keep keep honing, keep honing their top strength, and they become patterns pattern seekers. They get involved. They get involved in different worlds that then. They get involved in different worlds than their words, so they are trusted, and they can see those patterns, and they communicate to connect around the sweet spots of shared interest. So what I'm asking you is: the world is hungry. I truly believe, in my first-hand experience, the world is hungry for us to unite together as opportunity makers and to emulate. And to emulate, and to emulate those behaviors, I don't know where the stress is. Let me check. Maybe I can check now. To to emulate those behaviors, as so many of you already do, I know the first hand and the two. Reimagine a world where we use our best talents together more often to accomplish greater things together than we could on our own. Just remember, as a Dave Ringer once said, "You can't succeed coming to the potluck with only a fork." Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I think I will. I will look in. I will look in it later in wet crayon version. Yes. Uh, I just woke up, so uh, my how can I say my setting is more uh, close to Korean language and mindset. But if you if you check or if you try to use English, just as soon after you. Wake up. You may feel a little bit confused, or you feel a little a uh, difficulty to using English. But it's very good uh, practice in your daily life. Of, of course, it's a free if you if you can try to use uh, using English by yourself. Um, yeah, that's it for today.